This is so hard. Why do people eat plantains? It's not worth it. Hey guys, it's Eva. This is this is my new crib over here. I live here now. Look at this beautiful kitchen. No, but I'm at Daniel's parents' place and I'm going to be attempting to make some Puerto Rican dishes that Daniel likes to eat because all I ever make at home when I feel like I want food from home is Asian food and Daniel's not used to eating that because he didn't, didn't grow up with it and I didn't grow up with Puerto Rican food and so I'm going to attempt to make it. So, I have Daniel's mom over there behind the camera and she's going to be telling me what to do. Sandy! That's the puppers. Or puppers behind the camera. And um, they're going to yell at me if I do anything wrong, so we're going to do it. We're going to make some mofongo and tostones. Okay, so I have some plantains over here. Sea salt, oregano, garlic cloves, chicken broth, chicharrones, or like pork crackling skin stuff. Um, there's olive oil, deep fryer, and some chicken to put in it later. Okay, so let's start off with the mofongo. Apparently this is a huge pain in the butt to um, peel, so that's probably interesting. So apparently you're supposed to cut off the ends. I've never done this before, ever. Cut off this end. And then I saw in a video you're supposed to go along the rib or something, but Daniel's mom said I didn't have to. So I'm just gonna cut a line. That might have cut really deep into it. Okay, so apparently this is the pain in the butt part. And you're supposed to peel it without getting too much of the plantain stuck in the peel. Am I doing it? Yeah. I can do it. I believe in myself. <laughs> that does not want to come off. Okay, let's take off this chunk first. Get this out of the way. This is so hard. Why do people eat plantains? It's not worth it. Yay! One more piece. Perfect. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at it. Okay, now we have to do this three more times. Oh, right. we have to cut it. Cut a bite. Oh. An inch or two. Uh, that was not so an inch. Here, you can do it. Yeah, like that. I'm Canadian. I use centimeters. Perfect. These pieces are not even at all. Okay, so we're gonna do that again three more times. With these time points. for a time lapse. Yay! Okay, okay. And then now we need garlic. Yeah, my hands are all black. Uh-huh. Doesn't come off. This is what happened to my hand. It was all my nail too. <laughs> my entire this nail. It's like all gunky in there. Okay, so now we gotta make the paste and we're gonna use three garlic cloves. Ugh. Oh my god, okay, I don't want that one then. We're gonna take this one. Let's just chop this a little smaller so it's a little easier to mash. And you're gonna mash them into a paste anyway, so I don't think you have to cut them. You can just pop the entire clove in there. Okay. Okay, so we have a mortar and pestle. Let's put that under. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a good idea. Okay, um, now we need to put some salt. How much salt are we putting in? That's a little bit. Not too much. Just, that's what happens when you cook with parents. They just say, just a little bit. <laughs> just enough. To your liking. One fourth of a teaspoon. One fourth of a teaspoon. Just about, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, a half is fine. That's fine, that's oh, fine. That, that. that was a lot! That's a lot! That's a lot. <laughs> just pour, pour some of it, I was gonna say, you just pour some in, and then pour some in, just put, put the rest in the sink. Doesn't matter. Okay. Uh -huh. that, that looks about a fourth. Yeah. Okay, that didn't happen. How much oregano do I put in? You're liking. She's gonna say just a little bit again. <laughs> And then we're gonna mash this in. Wait, do we need oil? I love it. Mm -hmm. Parents, man! <laughs> oh, more. More? Yeah, more. More? Yeah. More? <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when I, when I try to learn how to cook for my parents, too. They're just like, just put enough, just taste it, see how much it is. In other words, like, they toss it in, and they're like, yeah, just put that much. It's like, I don't know how much you just put in. Is it time for another time lapse? Yeah. This is when we sub Daniel in to do this. <laughs> I got this. I'm a big girl now. I can do it all. It can be chunky. <laughs> it can be chunky. 
thank you. <laughs> is this okay? Is this the... Yeah. It's not like a paste, but that's fine. Yeah. 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 You put some chicken stock in it, so it's not gonna it's really get pasty. Flavor. It's not gonna get too pasty because you have the chicken mm -hmm. stock in there. Okay. So let's pour this in here. Sure. This looks delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it in my salad. Is it hot already? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I'm kind of scared because I don't really use deep fryers. Okay, we're gonna deep fry this. I don't know how to deep fry anything. How long do I deep fry this for? Uh, I don't know. Until they're like, they're like, uh, gold. Golden. They're fine. Oh. Yeah. That's it. More? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Toss it all in. I feel like Daniel's mom is just staring at me like, why is it taking so long to put it in? <laughs> Deep fries are scary, I don't use them. Why well, is a big chunk? Well, it's going in. Uh, don't fall in. There's so many. Ah, mm -hmm. that was dangerous. Ah! <laughs> just stay on there. I mean, I think the idea is for you to use the spatula and leave it over the paper. And you can load it up there, then drop them in. But that, that way she doesn't burn itself. So. And then! Yeah. So I just mix it or uh -huh. do I? Yeah. You can, you can. Do I leave it alone or do I? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. How long does this usually take? Oh, about five minutes or three to five. Okay, they're nice and gold, so let's take them out. Taking them out is a lot less scary than uh, putting them in. Uh, hunting chunks to eat? Like five or six. Five. We're going big, six. Okay, um, how much of the sauce? Just one, one little spoonful. Oh, so like that much? Uh huh. Okay, we're gonna pour that in here. How many of uh, the chicken? Three or four or five. <laughs> one, two, want. three, four, five. It depends on what you want. Okay, then we mash them. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, it's steamy. <laughs> so apparently, as you mash it, it's supposed to turn into the bowl that you can apparently put a uh, soup and stuff in. But then that should be the end of this. You just have to put some moist meat or protein or something in it. Or chili. Who needs to get a Panera's bread? How's this looking? Good. That's it. Oh, okay. that smells amazing. Mm -hmm. So I just turned this into a bowl now? <laughs> well... Or do I still match it? I think you can put some more. Well, there'll be uh, like two pieces two of that more. She just picked up the one! Come in. Turn too crazy. Does she need any more chicken broth or no? She can add some. More chicken broth? If she wants to. Oh, it's coming together a lot mm -hmm. easier now. Flip it over flat onto the plate. This is my first mofo, yeah. it's gonna be perfect! <laughs> Carve it out a bit more. Mm -hmm. try, try flipping it over and see if it even comes out. Okay. Like just... If not, we'll get a spatula. You can do it! Oh, that's heavy. Like I'm requesting spatula. assistance from the mom. <laughs> Whoa! It's fine. <laughs> it looks so bad. <laughs> I think I think you didn't Wait. put enough moisture into it. No, you have to make a uh, a bowl probably. It's fine. I think it's done. Yeah. It's fine. We're gonna have to make a bowl, like a bowl, with it, and then like make a little then in then indentation. Uh -oh. So we're supposed to form it with our hands then. You can do it with your hands, yeah. Because if not, you're gonna have to use a lot more of the uh, plantain. I mean, the easiest way would just be after you mash it to just stuff it into like another bowl, like these small ones, mm -hmm. and then make the indentation in there. Yeah. Chicken breast. It's not anything pretty. Is that too much? Yeah, you can put quite a bit in. Be generous. That's, that's, that's. <laughs> Don't be too generous now. Don't give all your life savings away. <laughs> Okay, attempt number five, because I totally did the other two and didn't ask Daniel's mom to do it for me. <laughs> Open up. She's determined to make a bowl. I really want 
ball. Wow, this is so much of a better consistency than the one I made. That look good? Does that look good? Does that look like a mofongo? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Then you just put the uh, chicken inside or beef mm -hmm. or pork or whatever you made. Yeah, one way to go. Cool. That's new. Plantains come in all shapes and sizes. It's okay if they're not uniform. It's not because we're lazy. Okay, so we're gonna clean up I guess and then we'll finish it off with some chicken later because you're supposed to put something moist in it since plantain and uh, the pork skins are a little... What are you doing? Hi. <laughs> yeah, we, we just need some... Okay, so let's go clean up and then we'll fill this up later. Yeah, you smell the chicken, Sandy? Oh yeah, she loves it. Sandy smells that chicken. There you go. Daniel's bought me this chicken. That's, that's a lot. I'm putting it in anyways. Very juicy. What is my chicken How much chicken do you want in it? Like a cabillion? That's fine. That's good. Yeah. Juice. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Does it look delicious? Is it scrumptious? Am I my fungo master? <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna make the stunners, and I like this idea because you don't really do anything for it, you just squish stuff, so. It's easy, it's easier than the mofongo. Okay, so we're gonna slice a plantain in diagonals. Wow, these are pretty hard to slice with this knife. <laughs> you want some close ups up in here? You yeah. want some action shots up in here? Stop, don't roll. It's not, it's straight now. <laughs> It's fine. It's good. It's supposed to look like this, but it turned out like this, but it's fine. They come in all shapes and sizes. They all don't have to look the same. Okay, then we're going to put them in some water with salt. Let's put it in there for some flavor, or why do we put it in here? Yeah, while we, while you cut the others. Oh, cutting some other <laughs> ones right now. When, you, when you're making a big batch. How long do I soak them in here for? Oh, you can take them. Oh, well, that, that was quick. But okay. If, if you are waiting for them and cut a, a lot of them. Right. So they don't turn, like, darker. Yeah. Is you have any? Yeah. Yeah. Put the rest in, I guess. Mom says we can take it out, so we can take it out. That's when you know it's done. <laughs> this is called a... Tostonera. We're supposed to squish it in here and turn it into a chip, so... We're gonna use this. Let's use the one with the training wheels, because that's gonna turn out great. How much do I squish this? Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Like that? Yeah. Perfect. Do I squish it more, or is that... Perfect. No, that's perfect. It's perfect. Oh, I'm so good at this. See? Get the knife. Yeah, it's easy. Ooh, look at this. It's a chip. <laughs> and then I just deep fry it again? Or do I wait until it's all done? Yeah. Okay, let's put this there for now. It's so pretty looking. Okay, let's squish the rest of them. Okay, we're gonna deep fry it until it's, how do you know when it's done? I'm very like golden. Okay, so we have the tostones. They're beautiful looking. Um, had mom help me with, uh, tell me when they're done, because I don't deep fry stuff. <laughs> yeah, so, basically, apparently these, you can eat them by itself, with salt, with ketchup, whatever you want, and they're pretty crunchy and good. That's really hot. 
really hot. It's very crunchy, I can hear it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would have eaten the mofongo, but uh, that kind of disappeared really quickly. So. Okay, but that's it for this episode of um, me attempting to make some Puerto Rican food because Daniel make, made me do it because he doesn't want to eat any food anymore. <laughs> okay, well, other than that, um, give me a thumbs up if you like these videos. Let me know if you want me to attempt to make anything else and subscribe if you like me. If you don't, then um, bye, I guess. See <laughs> you